Agamacing! This is Surbass of Surbass TV. In our last video, we discussed the different components of a scientific method. In this video, we are going to learn the different types of variables in an experiment. Are you ready to learn? If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and comment hashtag AghamBasing. Let's go! Experimentation involves the conduct of series of tests to verify if the hypothesis is correct or not. One of the things that we need to consider in designing and performing an experiment are the variables. Variables are the measurable characteristics, factors, or parameters that can be modified or changed in an experiment. They influence the result of an experiment. Consider this scenario. You want to find out the effect of the different types of soil to the height of the plant. The different types of soil that you use and the height of the plants are the variables in this scenario. Next example, you want to measure the effect of artificial and organic fertilizer to the number of fruits that a plant will yield. What do you think are the variables in this experiment? If your answer are the types of fertilizer and the number of fruits that a plant will yield, then you are right. There are three types of variables in a scientific experiment. These are independent variable, dependent variable, and controlled variables. Independent variables are also called the manipulated variables. Independent variables are the factors or conditions that you can change in an experiment. These are the variables that you change or manipulate to see their effect on the experiment. Independent variable is the cause why there is a change in another variable in an experiment. In the case of type of fertilizer versus number of fruits yielded, the type of fertilizer is the independent variable. The type of fertilizer is the condition that we manipulated to see its effect on the number of fruits that will be yielded. The variable that is affected by the change that you made in the independent variable is called the dependent variable. Dependent variables are also called the responding variable. They are called the responding variable because they respond to the changes you have made with the independent variable. Dependent variables are the factors or conditions that you measure or observe in the experiment. They are the effect of the changes that you made in the independent variable. In the case of type of fertilizer versus number of fruits yielded, the number of fruits yielded is the dependent variable. The number of fruit that will be yielded by the plant is dependent on the type of fertilizer that was used in each plant. The last type of variable is the controlled variable. This is the variable that you keep constant or unchanged during an experiment. These are kept constant so that they will not affect or influence the outcome of the experiment. Consider this to easily remember the difference among the three variables. Independent variables are the conditions that you manipulate or you change in an experiment. Dependent variables are the results or the effect that resulted in experiment because of the changes that you made with the independent variables. And controlled variables are the conditions that you keep the same all throughout the experiment. Let us try to identify the variables in this scenario. Ian wants to find out the effect of the amount of food on the weight of tilapia fish. One tank of tilapia is fed the normal amount of food once a day, a second tank is fed twice a day, and a third tank four times a day during a six-week study. Ian made sure that the type of food given to the fish and the sizes of the tanks are the same. What is the independent variable in the study? 
if your answer is the amount of food that was given to tilapia in each tank, then you are right. Why is this so? It is because the amount of food given to tilapia is the variable that is being manipulated or changed. The first tank is fed once a day, the second tank is fed twice, and the third tank is fed four times a day. Next, what is the dependent variable? The dependent variable in this scenario is the weight of the tilapia after a six-week study. This is because the weight of tilapia is the one being observed or recorded. Moreover, it is a dependent variable because the weight of the tilapia depends on the amount of food given to them. Next, what are the controlled variables? If your answers are the type of food and size of the tank, then you are correct. Let us analyze another scenario and identify the variables. Christian wants to find out what brand of fertilizer is more effective in making a corn plant yield more fruits. He decided to design an experiment. He planted a corn plant in pot A and added brand A as a fertilizer. He planted another corn plant in pot B and added brand B as fertilizer. Christian made sure to give each corn plants the same amount of fertilizer, water, and sunlight. He recorded his observation in a span of three months. Based on this problem, which are the independent variables? If your answer is the type of fertilizer, then you are right. The type of fertilizer is the one that Christian manipulated. Which is the dependent variable? If your answer is the number of fruits that the corn plant yielded, then you are correct. The number of fruits will depend on the type of the fertilizer used in each plant. Which are the controlled variables? The controlled variables in this scenario are the amount of fertilizer, water, and sunlight. They were considered controlled variables in this experiment since their amount is the same on both pot A and pot B. And those are the different variables in a scientific experiment. Independent variables are the conditions that you manipulate or you change in an experiment. Dependent variables are the results or the effect that resulted in experiment because of the changes that you made with the independent variables. And controlled variables are the conditions that you keep the same all throughout the experiment. See you on our next science lesson. Ugh, amazing!